All right, I got my Rad GDO 2.5 board yesterday. And like many people on various forums, I too was confused by the wiring diagram shown in the GitHub documentation for the Rad GDO. So I'm making this video just so I can uh, document it for myself. Uh, it took me a while to wrap my head around it, but uh, hopefully this will help people who are confused. Okay, so this is the Rat GDO 2.5 board. You can see that these two ports at the top, red control, black obstruction, are actually pass-through ports. So actually, there's two ways you can wire this thing up. You can actually, obviously, double up the wiring if you can fit it in there, which works. Then the other option is to actually take one couple of these wires out of the terminals pull them out and actually plug them in to these two ports here, which are the pass-through ports. That way you don't have to double up the wiring and it can be cleaner. So I'm gonna show how to do the pass-through ports on my LiftMaster. And uh, let's get going. Okay, so what I did is I actually got these long silicone wires off of Amazon and I just wired them up to the three ports, these three ports you see here. One is for the black lead on the obstruction sensor. One is ground, white, and then the red is for the button, the wall control button. So I just put a wire, I put three wires in there, long wires, just so I can make sure this works before I clean things up. So then what we'll do here now is get these wiring. So first off, obviously unplug the power from the LiftMaster so you don't die, and we'll start unplugging things. All right, so if you look at the wiring diagram that's on Paul's site, uh, it's a little confusing because a lot of these leads, what they represent are the existing connections to your garage door opener. And it does confuse things a little bit. So the three wires that you're going to actually end up connecting to the terminal on the garage door opener and connecting it to the red GDO board are those uh, red control, white ground, and black obstruction ports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three wires that I've already pre-connected to the board and then connect them to the terminals on the garage door opener. Okay, let's first do the red connection. You can see this red connection is actually coming from my um, push button on the wall. So we're going to remove that from the terminal by pushing on this orange tab and pulling that red wire out. So because I can't do this with one hand, I will show you that after. Okay, so I pulled the red wire out of the red terminal, which is the lead coming from the wall switch. So now what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna plug that red wire that's coming from the ceiling there. Uh, you're gonna plug that into this red control port on the red GDO board. That's the pass through port. You can actually see that vertical white line there that goes from red control to the red control port at the bottom there that I've connected a bare wire to. And so that's the pass-through. So you're gonna connect the red wire to that port. So let me do that. All right, it occurred to me that uh, I probably shouldn't assume that everybody knows how to do this, given the fact that there's a lot of people now who want to get rid of my queue. Uh, you may not be familiar with how to use these terminal blocks on these boards. So if you've never done this before, it's very simple. You just push that orange tab on the port you wanna put the wire in. Just push that tab down, push the wire in and let go, and that will uh, and give a little tug on it just to make sure that the wire is seated and doesn't come out easily. Uh, but once you release that, it should hold on to the wire. All right, now we see that the red lead that's coming directly from the wall there, coming out a little gray jacket there, is going to that red control port, the pass-through port. So next thing we want to do is we want to connect this red wire here on the other red control port, on the rack GDL board, and then connect it to the now empty port. Okay, now you see the red lead, which is now coming from, let me see my big long wire here. Now it's coming out of this port on the red GDO board, that red control port. So that's the pass through that's happening here. You can see that white line that actually shows what is actually happening there. Okay, so now we've got the red lead for the wall switch in. Let's do the other wires. The second connection now we're going to do is that white cable that you see is connected to the white ground port on the red GDO board. 
So at least the way that this thing is wired in this diagram for the 2.5 volt, you're actually gonna have to double up the wiring for that white port, the second from the left there. So there's the black wire that's coming from the other side of the switch. You see it coming out of that gray jacket. So we're gonna take the white wire that I've already plugged in to the white ground port on the GDO, red GDO board. And I'm gonna twist it together with that black wire and then push it back into the white terminal. So make sure that the wire gauge you're using on the, uh, the lead you're plugging into the red GDO board, make sure they're not too, obviously not too thick. Okay, you can see, apologies for the terrible focus and lighting. Uh, now you can see that I've tied the black wire, which is coming from the other side of the wall mounted switch, and I've tied that off with the white wire that's connected to the white GND ground port on the RAT GDO board. So now we're going to stick it back into that white hole there. All right, so now you can see that I got the white wire tied off with the black wire that's coming from the wall, the other side of the wall switch, and it's going into the same white terminal there. Obviously do a better job of stripping that wire and getting that into the terminal a little cleaner, but uh, this is just for demo purposes, so you get the idea. Uh, next, we're gonna connect the final wire, which is this black wire in the black port, terminal port. So you can see by the wire diagram that that black port should go to the second black obstruction port on the RAT GDO board. So I've got the black wire connected to that black obstruction port there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that black wire out of that black terminal there. So that wire is actually coming from the obstruction sensor. And we're gonna plug that black wire into the pass-through port on the RAT GDO board, which is that first black obstruction port. Okay, now we got the black lead coming from the obstruction sensor. See this gray jacket here? That's coming from the obstruction sensor there. Uh, and we're plugging that into the topmost port that says black obstruction. That's the pass-through port. And again, you can see that little white line between the two terminals, vertical line that's showing what's happening. So that's the pass-through. That's coming out of that second black obstruction port, which I have the little black wire already connected to. And so now we're gonna connect that second black wire to back to the black terminal port here. By the way, do a much better job than I did in uh, trimming and uh, twisting your stranded wire. That's not good, but uh, this is just to show how to wire everything up and not necessarily a best practices video for wiring. So definitely do a better job than I did there. All right, so got the black wire connected to that last black terminal. And that is the wire that's plugged into the second black obstruction port there, pass-through port. Okay, so now that's pretty much it. You can see we got a total of five wires connected to the board, but the only three of them are actually, um, well, these two topmost ones are coming from the wires that are coming off of your, either your switch on the wall or your obstruction sensor. And then the other three cables there are going to the terminal ports there. All right, so you got this big spaghetti thing going on here, but we're doing this just to make sure that everything works and then you can go in and clean everything up. Okay, obviously next thing you don't want to do is plug in your USB connector and plug that into a five volt USB power brick. That's what powers the board. There's a terminal on the board itself so if you, that you can actually power it directly from the terminal, uh, but it's a little beyond the scope of the default method of setting things up. So I'm just gonna use the micro USB port. All right, so I got the USB, micro USB plugged in. Yeah, that's plugged into the power there. And then the final thing you're gonna plug in, obviously, is the power to the garage door opener. So we'll plug that in and then we'll test it. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is test to make sure that the wall button works normally. So let's open that up. And it does. And then close it to make sure it closes properly. All 
Okay, so that's good. That shows us that the door will open just with the switch. And even if the Rad GDO is not working, it still works like normal. Okay, so now I'm in Home Assistant. I've already set everything up. So I created a uh, dashboard card for this garage door and added all the entities. Uh, I'm not going to show how to do that. You should know how to do that by now, hopefully. Um, but let's test to see if this works. Let's open it. And it works. And let's now close it. And it works. All right, so at this point, now that you tested everything and everything works, you're gonna to wanna to obviously trim these wires and get everything connected properly and cleanly and mount it properly. Um, in the documentation on the Ratchetio GitHub site, they recommended that you mount it on the, uh, the light hood there. But my particular garage door opener, the uh, terminals are on the other side, the side that doesn't have the uh, cover on it. So, um, so I could either run wires from the back over to here, tie it down with the cable tie. Um, I'll have to figure that out, but I'll leave that to you to figure it out for yourself. But hopefully this helps you out in wiring up your awesome new Ratchet EO 2.5 board. So you can, we can all give the middle finger to uh, Chamberlain for screwing us all over.